My name is John Chier. I'm from Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and I work in the chemical engineering department as a PhD student. Receiving the Elizabeth Slater Award for Excellence in Chemical Engineering Graduate Studies means to me that the mentorship that I have provided my students, as well as the research output that I have spent many waking hours on, have been recognized, and I am grateful and honored to be selected as the recipient. I have two faculty mentors, uh, Dr. Joseph Stancion and Dr. Kirti Yankee. So I started out working under Dr. Stancion since my undergraduate days. And then eventually after graduation, while I look for jobs, I worked for him part-time as a research engineer and also his teaching assistant for a few of his summer classes. They are called the principle of chemical processes. And so by the time I completed that experience, I realized that I actually like research a lot. So I ended up uh, staying on so I can work on synthesizing materials from renewable resources and also sustainable process design. And then eventually my work got really computationally intensive. And so Dr. Yankee offered her assistance with process system engineering. And so she brought me on also to work on an EPA sponsored project, particularly with designing a software tool for solvent recovery in the chemical industry. And so Working under both advisors, I got a chance to experience both world of experimental and computational research. So John is my first PhD student, and he was the one who got the lab started with the uh, mentoring of the undergraduate students on a wide range of projects. He has been very productive throughout his PhD, and has uh, his work has resulted in nine publications and. Uh, he has also established good collaborations with colleagues from the EPA and he currently is a postdoctoral fellow there. Uh, I wish John uh, all the best and success in his future and many congratulations for winning the medallion award for his PhD in the chemical engineering department at Rowan University. Memorable experiences. I have a lot, but if I were to pick one thing it has to be my involvement with the junior and senior clinic program. I've been through it as an undergrad and now I got a chance to see it again from the perspective of a graduate mentor. And since day one of graduate school, I was able to meet and mentor many different types of students. And then over time, it's really nice to see that they were able to grow intellectually. And also, I even inspired a few of them to take on graduate school, whether directly or indirectly. And to all of the students that I've mentored in the past, I just want to say thank you all for your assistance. And I hope you learn a few things from me and you can use those knowledge for your future endeavor. My plan post-graduation. Well, I'm already working under the United States Environmental Protection Agency as the postdoctoral researcher uh, in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is where I'm currently at and where I'm making this recording. So uh, this is actually under Oak Ridge Institute for Science and Technology, uh, also abbreviated as ORISE. I've been interning for them since 2020, and as I approached the final semester of my graduate school, I was officially offered the position and I've been working for them ever since. So I primarily worked on tracking releases, exposures, and developing generic scenario analyses for end-of-life material management, particularly in the plastic and the additive manufacturing industry. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my family members for their undying support throughout the years, especially my mom for always ensuring that I have more than enough food to get through grad school. I'd also like to thank my advisors, Dr. Joseph Stancion and Kirti Yankee for believing in me, taking me on as a student, and also teaching me how to become an effective researcher. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my lab friends and colleagues throughout the years for an unforgettable grad school experience. We've shared some laughs, had some really fun adventure in different cities from the conferences we went to. There are also tearful moments from the coursework that we took, but such is part of grad school and I will miss it. So thank you all for everything.